Hello guys, Stefan here with another Dynamo tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how we easily can change these sheet names with a mixed case to have upper cases. And rather than naming them, renaming them all one by one, we can we can have Dynamo to do that for us in one click. So let's do it right now. So first of all, we need to search for categories because we need Dynamo to select the category we want to work with here. And in this case, it will be uh, it's manual. Yeah, it will be sheets right here. So now we need to have another note. You can just right click here and and we want all elements of the category. Good. So now that we have this, we can uh, create a connector from this one to this one. So and we can also have a watch note to see what is going on inside this node itself. So connect these two. So uh, let's see what's happened if we click F5. Instead of going down here and run every time, you just you get used to to hit a five on the keyboard to so do that. So now it, it, it made a list. So now it took all the sheets here. Okay, now we need Dynamo to, 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 to get this parameter here, the sheet name, because that is the one that we want to change. Okay, so let's do that by right click and get parameter, get parameter value by name, get the value of one of elements parameters, boom, that's the one we need. So uh, these inputs, uh, this need an element, so have this one, and it also need a parameter name. And to do that, we can just double click on the workspace, the canvas itself here. And now that we need to type in a string, so a string is a text, okay? And when we write in text in Dynamo, we need to have uh, quotation marks here, okay? And we need to, we need to now uh, type in the exact name of this with the case because this is case sensitive. So sheet name and boom you just click out here so let's feed this to this and uh, now we need um now that we can see that we have all the the parameters we can just have a watch let's so just to see what's going on here and just to run it so now you can see the difference between these two these took the sheets and now we have all the sheet names itself because we took the parameter. Okay, so now we need the, uh, to to um, to to make these two upper cases. We can do that by right click here and just type in case. And now you see we have different options. So the upper case is the one we want to need right now. Converse the given string to all uppercase characters. Click once. And then when we have that one, we can just defeat it from this this list here. So put it in there. Okay. And now that uh, if we hit run, we can see, okay, so now nothing is happening over here. Why is that? Because Dynamo want to, uh, we, we have to tell Dynamo that it has to set the parameters as well. Now that we already got the parameters. Okay, so just remember this, if you get a parameter, you can you have to set the parameter in this case, in this script. Okay, so just right click and then set parameter by name. That's the one we need. And what does this need? It needs the element. So you can just take it from just go back in your script and you see this is the the, the actual uh, list. So take it from that one, put it into that one, it needs the parameter name as well. We already have the name sheet name. So take it from that one. And now the value would be the value itself that we change this uh, names to the upper cases. So take it from the output and put it into the input here. Okay. So now let's let's run the script and let's keep an eye on the sheet names over here. Boom, now you can see everything is in upper cases and that saves us a lot of time, right? So that is how you do that in a really quick and easy way. So and to explain to you what what's happening here. So this is the watch note. Okay, so you can just delete them because they don't have any function rather than just watching what is going on inside this node. Okay, 
So, uh, so guys, I think that's it for now. And I hope to see you in the next videos. And please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. So thank you for watching this.